Keep your Charlie up, up boys. Yes. Yes. Oh, Good boy, he's gone. Yeah. Another body shot, he's out of them soon. One more body shot, so he's had enough then. Come on. Oh, oh, well done, well done, Good boy. Man. Come back to the end after the fight. Oh, 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 that's a shot. Well Good boy. Well done. Yes, sir. It's all over. Well done, son. Yes, sir. Well done. It's a body shot. Well done. Well done, yes, sir. It, my initial intention with those shots of the body was just mm -hmm. to just to line him up and just to get his hand to go lower because mm -hmm. what I wanted to do was set him up with a left hook and a straight right mm -hmm. it was hard for me to land my straight rights because he kept on dipping dipping his head away mm -hmm. so I wanted his guard to drop and then him to lean forward so, mm -hmm. I, can, so I can really drop him or knock him out mm -hmm. but it didn't get to that extent yeah so how many how many fights have you had now altogether 31 31 fights 31 yeah okay. 31 um, can you remember your first fight? Yeah, uh, no, I think it was seventh or ninth of February two thousand. No, ninth of February two thousand and seventeen. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah. Wow, that's two that years was, ago. Yeah, that was at the Boston Dome. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fingers fought there. That's where I knew Joshua for. Yeah. Um, a few other people there for the. Yeah. Thing was that for um, Islington Show or Islington Show? That was my debut to boxing. And, How did you do? Uh, I did the right. Um, I was quite nervous going in. Mm -hmm. The guy that the guy that I fought was from Double Jab. He doesn't box anymore. Okay. And um, he looked like a scary guy. All mm -hmm. I wanted to do was say hello to him mm -hmm. and just wish him the best of luck. Wish mm -hmm. myself the best of luck as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I stopped him in the third round, which I didn't even know. I didn't even know I was going to stop him. Yeah. I kept on throwing punches, and his mm -hmm. arms kept on going limp. So the yeah, referee stopped it. Okay. And um, yeah, that was your first fight. First. You stuff in. Um, did you win your next one after that? Yeah, I stopped my next opponent in the first round, 30 mm -hmm. seconds or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, my third fight, I, I stopped that guy. Okay. And then fourth one, I, I hit this guy with everything I could. Yeah. And I'm talking about, I got tired. Yeah. And nothing happened. Yeah. I made him go through counts. Yeah. But yeah, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yeah, he walked forward. He was quite scary. Yeah. So in, um, do you know how many fights you've lost in that 30? One fight. Uh, 31 fights I haven't lost on um, so I've only lost on a split decision yeah. and two of them was during Ramadan and oh, okay yeah both of which I've avenged and then the third guy he was in developments on the 10th okay and um, that was in the uh, final in, I think it was semi-final stages okay. and I lost on a split which was I didn't think I lost yeah even he even he said to me oh best of luck in the in your in, you know in the next stage and yeah. then they raised his hand up wow but i'm um, not going to take anything away from him he yeah. taught me a good boxing lesson well what did you what did you get out of that fight what, um, what lesson that was my first ever south wall and i just learned how to line them up with uh, with my jab because i didn't believe in my jab against south walls and when i started fighting him i started using my jab and um straight after that fight i went back to the gym the next day and i pleaded with my coach to get me uh, to get me another opponent who's a southpaw mm. and you know you know what they say be careful what you wish for because that's exactly why i got four days later mm. i fought another southpaw really yeah four days after four days after yeah and what happened in that one uh, i stopped him in the in the second or third round wow you you, you have a lot of stoppages in the <laughs> thing um, um few, yeah but this this guy i fought um the guy who i fought he was an army guy i forgot yeah. what his name was yeah just slipped my mind, but I fought him three weeks in a row. Yeah. So I fought him the first week. I stopped him. Second week was relatively close, and then mm -hmm. third week, uh, I won. Well, I won all all of the times. I either won by stoppage or unanimous, but I didn't stop him the other two fights, and it became harder and harder to stop people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you look for, now? You now you do you look for stoppages when you fight? No, no. I just um I just. Because I know what happens when you look for stuff, it mm. never comes. Mm -hmm. I just try and hit, 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 and see if I can um, see if I can outgas them. Because mm -hmm. I know my workload gets better as the round goes on, and um, the more the more it gets better, the better you know, the better my chances of uh, of actually hurting the guy. Why did you stop boxing? Uh, honestly, it was it was one to improve my hands. I did kickboxing back in the day, just to make sure my hands got better. I wanted to go into MMA. And it was to keep an eye on my younger brother, who it was because he did boxing. He was at Islington, and uh, he did amazing, and he really beat the crap out of me. So I, I started. Your younger brother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he beat, he no one's beat me worse than him, and uh, yeah. I started boxing to you know just to get my hands better and to keep an eye on him, 
But he quit boxing and I continued I continued it onward. How much younger is he younger than you? Three and a half years. Okay, and you're twenty five, right? Twenty five. So what is he's like twenty one and a half or something or uh, he's he's twenty two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it was his birthday just on a Friday. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. And um he doesn't want to do boxing then. No no, he quit, but he's still to this day he's still one of the most skillful people I have ever faced against. Yeah. He's tough and he can and he can fight. So it's, when did he quit? Skillful. Roughly around the time I started. Like, mm. uh, I remember I was training with him, and then uh, when I properly started, he, yeah. he left. Okay. And that was it. What, what year did you start, bo- um, start boxing? Did you go to a boxing gym? Uh, roughly this time, three years ago. This time, three yeah. years ago. And before that, how long were you a kickboxer for? About three years. Three, four years. Okay. Yeah. So six years all in with like just being in the yeah just in be, martial arts all together that's it. for three years in boxing yeah okay okay so you you've been in boxing for three years so you must have started in um what was it nineteen I mean two thousand and sixteen yeah so um I remember I handed in my dissertation the week after I went into boxing because I you know you you out of shape yeah. you've been studying all this time and mm-hmm. I just wanted to get back into fitness. Mm-hmm. And I thought boxing was the perfect way to do that. What did you study at uni? Uh, international business business management. Okay. Are you are you working as well? No, no. I actually um, I I stopped working last year, okay. and just to you know just to box because I yeah. enjoyed it and I yeah. hated being behind a desk. Yeah. Could not stand it. It's not for me. Where where were you Where were you working? Uh, oh. I worked at I've, I worked at two different places. I yeah. worked at Bath Not Latham and a, another company, another wealth management company. Okay, yeah. and you didn't enjoy the nine to nine to five. <laughs> no, I did not. I don't think I'll go back ever. Okay, well, we'll see how your boxing <laughs> career go. But um, yeah. the reason why you're here because you obviously you came into my attention, and the reason why you came into my attention because um, this season has been a brilliant season for yeah. you, right? Yeah. Um, you you fought on the under twenties, yeah. novices. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So for those people that don't know, novices is when um, you've had less than twenty fights, you get into yeah. to the national tournament, and um, you won that, didn't you? Yeah, I I think I had five or six fights, and uh, I I won all of them by unanimous or stoppage. So I was very happy about that. No split decisions. No, no, no. <laughs> so when you lose, you lose by split. When you win, have you, did you, have you ever won by split before? Uh, twice. Okay. Twice, so against Tom Hudson, I won by split. Okay. And my last opponent, um, Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the Tri Nation finals. Tri Nations, yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, so, who's Tom Hudson? I remember his name before. Is he. When did you fight him? Uh, I fought him in the quarterfinals of Elites. Okay, yeah, yeah. because that name sounds like an, an elite sort of. Uh, yeah, he's. A, I think he's. Um, well, he was ranked number two. Oh, and he's a, yes. he's a GB boxer. He was ranked so, number two and now so you've he's gone down. You beat him on a split. Yeah, that, I, that, I don't know how that was a split. I, I, I don't want to be cocky or anything, yeah. but I thought I dominated that fight quite a bit. Yeah. The first round he beat, I, I hands down he beat me. I just fought on the back foot. I wanted yeah. him to get comfortable. Yeah. And the next two fights after that, I really hurt him and yeah. I threw a lot more punches. I landed a hell of a lot more than he did. Well, the, the thing about was it a GB fighter? GB, yeah. Okay, the thing about fighting GB fighters yeah. on a very close fight, you're not gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you do get it on a close fight, that means you won it unanimously. Yeah. That's how I do the maths anyway. Yeah. Because if it's if it was a split split decision, they would it would have gone straight to him, Tom Hudson. But um, well done for winning that. Um, Thank you. Thanks. So you won that on the split. Um, we were getting ahead of ourselves. So um. You won the novices. Yeah. What what month was that? Was that? Uh, I think that was early November. Okay, okay. So what you tend to do, because you won the novices, you thought you might as well try the elites. Yeah. Uh, straight after novices, I yeah. wanted to give um intermediates a go, which is like another stepping stone. Um, intermediates. I didn't know there was an intermediate. Yeah, they recently introduced it two years ago. How many fights do you have to have done to? It doesn't matter. It's okay. uh, as as long as you're not an elite boxer. Yes. You can do it. The intermediates was mainly created for um, for youths who just wanted an experience of how to fight seniors before yeah. going and fighting seniors. Okay, I get you. Yeah. So did you do that? Yeah, I did. What? How did you do with that? Um, I did alright. I just, I only had two fights. One person pulled out, and um, yeah, won both by unanimous. 
Okay. And I fought one guy who um, I faced last year as well. In the finals, I beat him as well. And mm. this guy I fought three times and has given me a tough fight all three times. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And you beat him all three times? All three times. Well, it just, it just gives you hell. One G- of those guys. Yeah, it gives me hell. What does he give? What sort of hell does he give you? What sort of style is he? Uh, he's very much a um, an intermediate fighter. So yeah. he doesn't take a step back. He stays yeah. there toe-to-toe with you. His left hooks are mean. I remember the first ever time I fought him last year, mm. I threw a massive right hand at him mm. and I tore my bicep. So my arm went limp. Mm. And um, and I remember, so as soon as I threw the shot, my arm went dead mm. and um, and I kept on jabbing. Mm. But I couldn't pick this hand up. So he, wow. faked a, he faked a jab and went for a left hook and wobbled my legs. Wow. But that's only because I couldn't lift it lift up. It up yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I picked it up the next round after that. How did you win with one hand? Just <laughs> forced through. That was it. Yeah. yeah. So, you, so you did the interview, then you, you jumped on the elites, right? Yeah. How many fights can you remember when you had in the elites? Um, elites was quite weird. Uh, I had six or seven fights in the elites. Okay. How did you find back to back, like when you got to the pre quarterfinals in? Yeah. But how did you find that, like fighting every day? Uh, I actually uh, did, I didn't mind it. Yeah. I didn't mind it. It's um, my weight was good. I mm. made sure I well I weighed around sixty sixty one every single you know for a week before the before the tournament. So weight was no issue for me. The only thing I had an issue with is sleeping out away from home because okay. I c- I can't sleep too much. And oh, I remember yeah. on the third day I was just so angry. Wow. For, no fourth day, I was just so angry because like, I didn't get much sleep, and uh, it was frustrating for me. And I think you can see in my fight that mm. I I wasn't I wasn't in the best mood at all. Mm. And uh, so yeah. um, you won it. You won the whole thing. The elite. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about elites is that a lot of people, after winning the novices, they go into the elites and they feel. But no, not many people are successful at it. The only, the, you get like maybe they're set in heavyweights, but the, there's not that many people in heavyweights. But people around your weight, if they do the novices and you try to jump in the elites, they usually yeah. they don't become successful. So yeah. how, why do you think you, you became so successful? Uh, I, f- I think it was because in the London stages, I was really eager to fight one guy. And I only wanted to beat one guy. My objective was to just win the Londons. Uh, if not win the Londons, w- beat this guy. Which guy was this? Uh, his name's Ali Ali Reza. Okay. And he gave me my first ever loss. Okay. Uh, so it was during Ramadan I fought him. I lost yeah. on a 3-2 split. And he's the only guy to ever make my nose bleed. Okay. And um, yeah, I fought him. He was a tough guy. But when I fought him in the rematch, I think you, if you look at the fight, I couldn't stop smiling. I don't know why. I was just so excited to be to be there. Where did you fight him? Was he in the London finals? London finals, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How did that fight? Was, did he cut? Did he get yeah, caught? Yeah, he got, he got cut. He he likes to lead in with his head quite a lot, and yeah. um, and it was just unfortunate. Plus, yeah. I think on one eye he's, you know, he's got half an eyebrow, so he was if he if we were to clash heads or if he was to come in and get hit with a big shot, he was gonna get cut. Yeah. And he's from Rem- was it Repton? Repton. Oh, okay, yeah, Repton. Yeah, I remember. I was there actually that yeah. fight. And um, yeah, you enjoyed that fight? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. He's Because yeah. he gave me my first ever loss uh, yeah. and I returned the favour, so I was <laughs> super happy. Yeah. That was and, good. yeah, and since then I just didn't really care after that. So every fight was just got easier and easier and easier just because the pressure was gone. Okay. So um, can you remember how you felt in the finals? Of, um, of of the elites. Elites. Yeah. Were you nervous? Or I was nervous, but um, I think I think the weight of the world, you know, the weight of the weight of everything was off my shoulders mm-hmm. because um, I I was expected to lose against Tom Hudson. Once mm-hmm. I beat him, mm-hmm. I thought I faced the best guy, mm. and then when I faced this guy, I saw videos of him. I saw that he was a backwards fighter, mm-hmm. and um, that doesn't look too great on the judges' eyes. Mm. But yeah, I felt I felt good coming up against him. He was very tricky, very yeah, tricky. He was taller than you, right? Yeah, all you're, all of them were taller than me except for Ali. Everyone's everyone's a giant. Taller, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do get these lightweights are just quite taller. Yeah, they're taller. Tall, they're taller than the sixty fours, which is yeah, which is weird. weird. Yeah, yeah. And um, he was a young guy. This kid in yeah, the finals, yeah. he was Joe, Joe, Joe Tires. Joe Tires, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. His mm. lateral movement's amazing. Yeah. Like um, he made sure I didn't get involved. Mm. He did something amazing where he kept on dipping his um, 
he kept on dipping his head to my left shoulder. Okay. We stopped me from throwing my right hands, and I didn't I didn't notice it till later on in the fight, and yeah. I started throwing uppercuts. Okay. Yeah, well, left uppercuts. Yeah, yeah. left uppercuts, right? Yeah. Like uppercuts was yeah. were landing. That's a lot of a lot of boxers do that. Mayweather does that. They just yeah. you know just dip towards yeah. the right hand side and. When they see a right hand coming, they just yeah. dip. It's just I, a natural thing. Yeah, because I, rem- I was looking at it, I was, I was thinking, why could I not land any right hands? And yeah. then realise a little yeah. too late Yeah. what he's yeah. doing. Well, at least um, you find a way to, to yeah. you figure it out eventually. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, after the elites, um, you, you got involved in the, the Tri-Nations. <laughs> yeah. Wales yeah. went English, the best of England, Wales yeah. and Scotland. They, they, they get yeah. together and they they get it on. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that tournament. Uh, well, it just happened over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, I fought the Welsh guy first. Yeah. Uh, it's weird because him and I, our rooms were opposite each other. Yeah. And I was talking to him before the fight. Extremely yeah. nice guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, during the fight, I got a little bit frustrated. Why? Uh, he, I know he didn't mean, it, mean to do it on purpose, but he had bought me a few times. Oh, okay. I'm talking about it's... A round and a half, and I got headbutted four times. So I yeah. got really, really frustrated. Yeah. And um, I think you can see in the video, it's not very classy. I do regret why I did. I was, you know what? You, <laughs> you, you beat me to it. I was going to ask you why you did I, that. I knew, I knew you were going <laughs> to. I knew you were going to build up towards that. <laughs> yeah, you because you dropped him. And yeah. you put your, you you went over him and you said something to him. So what oh, did you no, say to him? I didn't say nothing. I was trying to intimidate him to tell him to like stand back up. Yeah. I will put you back down there. Oh, okay. I did it a few times. In yeah. round number one, it happened. Yeah. Round number two, it happened again. And it was just, yeah. I was just more of an intimidation factor because yeah. I got headbutted too many times. So how many fights did you have? Uh, that was fight number 30. Yeah. No, no, but in that, in the, in over oh, the just weekend, two, just two, two fights. fights. Yeah. So Scotland and uh, Wales and Scotland. So the Scottish guy, um, what was his name? Uh, I forgot. I forgot what his name was. John. John something. Okay, and you won that on a split. Yeah, I won that on a split. That was. Um, he's the tallest guy I've ever faced, mm. and it's weird. Like uh, I'll show you a picture at the end. Mm. His physique is, isn't isn't of the physique that you get at his height or his weight. He's got big legs. He's got big arms, and he was just a giant. He's like six foot two or something like that. Wow. Six foot one, six foot two, six and then you just big guy. So what did you do to um to rectify it? Uh, to... Not much, to be fair. He did something something quite silly where he didn't fight on the back foot. He stood there, and it was easy for me to find my range. Um, yeah. Round number one, I I just made sure he missed his shots. So so to put down his confidence, uh, he barely landed in round number one, but he nicked the round just because he had more volume. Yeah. And round number two, I really had to, you know, step it up. But I got I got punched in the eye, and I couldn't see out of one eye. Yeah. I remember that because uh, <laughs> I was looking at him, but I couldn't see him properly. Yeah. And it, yeah, I just pushed through. Round number two, I won it. Round number three was fairly close. And um, yeah, if I face him again, I I know I'll know exactly what exactly. to do. I'll just be better prepared. That's the thing about amateurs, man. People should just use it as like learn time yeah. to learn. Yeah. Okay, so now you've won the Tri Nations. Your name is in the map now. Yeah. Um, before the Tri Nations, you've now been ranked in the whole of the country, um, in number the, in th- uh, in the four nations. I'm ranked number four. Number four in the four. So yeah. who's the who's the three on top of you? There's so the first two is uh, Callum uh, French. Callum French. Yeah. Um, Callum Thompson. Who's Callum Thompson. In yeah. January, he was ranked number six, I think. Yeah. He went up because he's yeah, also Team GB. Yeah, a few people from last year they 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 turn pro. Yeah. A lot of um sixty kg yeah fellas um like Charles yeah. don't know even know Charles Franklin. The guy who won the elites last year. Isn't it? Yeah, no, that was Mark Chamberlain or yeah, something. He, he turned he, pro. He turned as pro. Well, yeah. Then he beat a guy called um, Charles Franklin. He he he's turned pro now. He's part of the matchroom set yeah. up. Or he's got a big following. And he was a good boxer. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there's um. Kyle Thompson and um, where else? Uh, David something. He's from Ireland. Oh, okay. So uh, right. yeah, the three guys that yeah. are ahead of me, I yeah. didn't face them. Yeah, and, uh, you've never they're, faced they're, them. They're international fighters. So yeah, I'm assuming they're yeah leaps and bounds above me. Yeah, yeah. So. That, you do well to to get experience with them, or at least spar with them or something. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Um, so what's 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 next in your plan now? Yeah. Um, I'm going Germany this week. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm boxing. I'm boxing a German boxer there. 
All right. Looking forward to that because yeah. uh, I fought him last year in, in his in an exhibition match. Yeah. And um, he's the best boxer I've faced. Yeah. Hands down, anyone I've faced, he's well, he's the smallest guy I've faced, but he's the best boxer. Okay. Like he, um, my opponent pulled out and he he fights at fifty six. Yeah. So they matched us two up and uh, yeah, he showed me quite a bit of mercy. Oh really? And I, yeah, I can't wait to face him again. Yeah. Did you? Did you? Who won that fight? Uh, it was an exhibition. Oh, exhibition! But yeah, yeah. If I was to say who won it, yeah, you, you give him. it to him. Yeah. I haven't lost on a split, uh, well, on a unanimous, but I'll, you, yeah. that'll, that'll be my first one. So you're looking forward to fighting? I'm this looking guy forward like? to fighting him. Okay. He's a, it's, yeah. a, it's kind of like a. What weight are you guys going to be fighting at? Uh, 60. 60. 60. Has he moved up or something? No, no. I, I just think he's that confident yeah. and he's that good that he says I don't care. Okay. Well, yeah. you're gonna have to get off, get off, kid his ass <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Give him yeah. that. Um, that thing. So where um, where are you originally from? Uh, me, Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. Okay. And um, how long have you been in? If you were you born in the UK? No, no, I came here two thousand and one. Wow. How old yeah. were you then? Um, eight, nine, eight, eight years nine, old. Yeah. Okay. Can you remember how it was when you first came? Did yeah. you speak English? <laughs> no, no, couldn't speak English. Um, my dad worked hard on. Uh, you know, my dad came to the country before us. Mm-hmm. He worked hard on. Um, you know earning some money and then he brought the rest of us over wow and uh just you know this yeah. cliche story of you know living a better life yeah um having a you know having a chance having a better chance in life and stuff like that that's good because um you came there and you ended up even doing you even though you might not use the qualification but you've gone to uni what yeah. uni did you go to uh greenwich university okay yeah. south london yeah and yeah you did yeah that. Um, so yeah, um, let's get back to boxing. Um, you won the Tri Nations, so you've won the novices, you've won the elites, yeah. you've won the Tri Nations. So guys are gonna be looking at you as like you know what, <laughs> you're you're a target now. Yeah, you know I mean? you you're, you've arrived. So um, what usually happens because now they're gonna be they're gonna call you up for GB assessment to um, yeah. to think. So um, you looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to it. But when? before that, what I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to a rest. Okay. I haven't had a rest since um, since Christmas, and yeah. I've been fighting nonstop. Yeah. I just can't wait to you know. When are they? When did they call people? Was it? I'm not too sure. Um, I think it's either summertime or December. Okay. So, Ooh, December is quite far. Yeah, away. December's a long way away. Okay. You never did Ramadan though, did you? Uh, I did it 2017, 2018. No, I, I mean did. this year. This year, first first couple of days I did. Yeah. After that, I couldn't because yeah. um, I had the England England training to go to, and then I had this and other stuff. So they most likely in the England in in, in the England set up right now. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. They're really they're really good guys there, yeah. and everyone's just you know it's it's really fun being around there. Everyone's great. Well, a lot of um, because as you know, I know a lot of boxers around were in that tournament. Yeah. And everyone has got back to me and said, yeah, you're the nicest fella <laughs> they've ever met. From yeah. Delicious to Natty to um, Hamza, um, Hamza Mahmood. Yeah, Mahmood. Um, yeah. It's funny is that because uh, <laughs> uh, you're friends with um, a guy that Hamza fought. Yeah, Connor. Connor, Connor David. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, did we, you talk about that fight? Yeah, we spoke about that fight quite a lot. Um, yeah. What's weird is me and Connor, before he was fighting Hamza, we shared the room. Okay. So like um, he he was my ro- he was my roommate. Yeah, he was my roommate, and then Hamza was Hamza was my roommate in the Tri Nations. Okay, so yeah. Both both amazing guys. Yeah, really really nice guys. Yeah, and both are taller than me. They're two yeah. weight divisions above below me, and they're yeah, both taller yeah. than me. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> he's, he's how he is. how your your beaut and really <laughs> yeah. compact. Well, yeah. Um. So apart from boxing, do you do have you got any other interest? Honestly, I don't. Mm. I you don't. Go, you got a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather not talk about that. <laughs> you got girls? <laughs> Have you got a spare? <laughs> give, 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 give me a number or two. <laughs> no, yeah. I'd rather not talk about stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get into trouble. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> you obviously, you've only boxed for Islington, right? Yeah, only Islington. And yeah. You like that club? Mate, uh, I think it's one of the best clubs. I don't think um, I don't think I would have got where I did mm-hmm. without that club or have as many fights as I did. Mm-hmm. 
um, if I wasn't at that club. Mm. And they're really big units. Yeah. Like it's an amazing place to be, especially for a lightweight. Yeah. Which I have so much sparring. I have so much support behind me. Yeah. It's a yes, yeah, a wonderful club. Yeah. I I have to give them a lot of credit, and I always. I always give them a shout out in yeah. every single post and yeah. just because of how grateful I am. Yeah. Uh, how many, um, do you have a specific trainer that trains you or? No, no, it's just, it's when you go there, there's so many trainers mm -hmm. and they all, they all, you know, kind of tap in and they all help you out. And uh, each trainer has a different style. Yeah. Like, um, JR is known for john richard he's known for like a lot of volume jerry's known for making you sit down and fight old school mm -hmm. roy's a roy's a great corner man like mm -hmm. he's he always watches sparring he doesn't get involved with uh with the bag work but he he's one of the best guys that like um even in the tri nations the body left hook to the body i kept on throwing yeah roy was there in scotland and he kept on screaming out left hook and i heard his voice wow. and i started throwing it because i heard him his voice yeah yeah and uh, roy just gives you one or two one or two minor details that changes the fight and yeah like they all have their own trades and it's it's it'll be stupid not to work with all of them the lightweight division as uh, i would follow pro boxing there's quite some good young ones now it's yeah. hot there's joe kudina there's luke campbell yeah. and over in america there's uh theo theo um theo Fimo lopez yeah there's devin enley <laughs> Um, do you follow any of those guys? Do you watch any of those guys? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> I don't watch a lot of boxing. Really? No, I don't watch a lot of boxing. Uh, I watch the main fights. Mm -hmm. Um, I support my friends who do who you know who fight pro, but mm. they're not quite up there yet. Mm. Um, this, I'm yeah, afraid that they do one day. Yeah. But uh, I don't watch a lot of boxing. And um, do you feel that you might get improved by watching more boxing, or you just? Some people are just different, they're just it's naturally gifted. For, no, for me it's more, I train hard, I train really hard, but mm. it's, um, for me it's more, I, when I watch the pro guys, I start doing what they do. And yeah. in the amateurs, you can't do that. Like, yeah. um, I got told off because uh, I used to watch a lot of pros, I used to sit down on my shots, mm. widen my stance and make mm. my shots really accurate. But in the amateurs, I started, because I, I sparred a lot of pros as well, but mm. then um, in the amateurs, your style changes. Mm. And I, I always lose the first round because I start late and yeah. because I adopt that style too That's much. True. But and the other reason is just because I think about boxing 24-7 and yeah. then the last thing I want to do when I sit down yeah, yeah. is watch more mm. boxing. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, <laughs> everything's just involved around the sport. Mm. I'd rather have a few moments where I don't think about it. Okay. That's, that's good. That's fair enough. So, um, providing everything goes well, yeah. With the GB assessment, is that your next route? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope hoping that hoping that's my next thing, and um, if they don't accept me, mm -hmm. I've done everything I could do in the amateurs, and uh, I'll turn over. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any calls yet? Uh, none that I w really want to talk, talk about, about just yeah. yet, okay. but um, uh, yes. I've, yeah, I don't want to jinx anything. Yeah. I I say when it when it comes time to it. I'll make an announcement, but we'll see. Well, I've enjoyed your, your progress <laughs> so far. So good to say it's been a blinding year. Thank you. And God willing, you get even a better, more successful season next season, wherever yeah. you do. And I look forward I look forward to see how you're doing your career. But before Thank we you. go, I'd love to uh, shake your hand, bro. Thank you, sir. And um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for uh, coming down to, to pay us a visit. And... Um, yeah, good luck in your in your fight on the uh, on the on the was it first, this weekend? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. Well, hopefully you beat this guy and uh, get yeah. back to me when you do. Yep, thank Uncle you. Uncle T signing out.